Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video as you guys could see from the title is going to be talking about loafers, more specifically the Prada loafers. Um, there's so many different models of Prada loafers that are just trending like crazy right now. So I want to just give an in-depth review on the two that I have purchased and to give my honest opinion about it. Is it worth the splurge? Is it worth the money? So yeah, let's just jump right on into it. So unless you're living under a rock, you guys know that loafers are a huge trend for fall this year. They were last year as well, but I feel like they're becoming more and more just popular and more people are purchasing them. The leather logo loafers, which are these ones. So these are the classic loafer, the classic Prada loafer that they kind of went viral a few years ago and they're still very popular. This is more of a classic loafer. Um, it's really kind of like a go-to everyday loafer. They're super classic, just super simple, plain. They go with so many outfits and they're really cute and durable and great quality. These are more of your simple go-to everyday loafer. And the other loafer that I'm going to be reviewing today is a more recent Prada loafer that I've purchased. I actually purchased it a few months ago, which these ones are called the Monolith Brush leather oxfords and they look like this so they're definitely a little bit of a chunkier loafer um, they are lace up as you guys can see it has the Prada logo on the top here as well as in the back but definitely a much chunkier look as you guys can see compared to the more classic ones which look like this um, sorry they're a little bit dirty just because I do wear these quite often but yeah they're two very different looks and Prada has launched a whole bunch of chunky loafer ones. I mean, they have ones, they're slip-ons, they have the Prada tag in the front like this, but the sole is more of this chunky look as well. They have so many different variations. These ones are going for $14.50 Canadian, whereas the other ones are going for $12.50. At least that's what I purchased them for when I bought them a few years ago. They might be going for a little bit more now. I think they might've bumped the price. Let me actually check. So they did, they actually hella bumped the price. They are now $13.90 on the Holt Renfrew website, which is, I bought mine at Holt Renfrew, um, and they were $12.50 last year. So they're just under $1,400 now, um, but two very different looks. So I wanna review these because I personally love both equally. I think they give such a different look, but I also understand that if you are gonna splurge on a pair of loafers, it might not be super practical for you to be spending over $3,000 on two similar shoes. Like you might wanna have a little bit more variety if you are gonna splurge on two pairs of shoes. So personally, if I were, you know, only going to splurge on one pair, I would probably go for the logo ones. So these ones, simply because, like I said, these are timeless, they are classic, no matter your age, you're gonna be able to wear these. Um, you can dress them up, you can dress them down. These are also surprisingly very comfortable. Um, the leather, it doesn't necessarily really mold to your feet, but they are just way easier to walk long distances in, even once you break them in, obviously. Whereas the other ones, I've broken them in, and they're not the most comfortable pair of shoes, which is totally okay. Um, but for walking, these ones are great. Like honestly, you could even wear these to work. Um, you can literally wear them to an event. Like they're so easy just to dress up. They're so classic. It's like your classic loafer. So if I were to splurge on one personally, just because they are more classic, I would go for these ones. Whereas the monolith ones are definitely more of a trendy piece. Um, I'm personally someone who loves chunky shoes. I always have, I think I always will. I'm also quite short, so I like that it gives me a little bit of height as well. I just think the other ones are ones that you can wear no matter what your age. Like some people as they get older might not Totally okay if you do, because I feel like I'm gonna be a 40 year old wearing these beautiful shoes. But I feel like as we get older, our style changes a little bit, chunky, you know, more edgy pieces just tends to kind of wear off in our wardrobes. Not as many people are drawn towards it. So definitely this would just be a good bonus. I wouldn't get these as your first pair necessarily. Again, that's just my personal opinion. You might just be like, I love chunky shoes. I'm gonna go for it. 
um, I just wanted to share my honest opinion. Like if I were to choose between the two, I'd go for the more classic loafer. With that being said, like I said, these ones are not the most comfortable. They are quite hard to get on and off. They're super sturdy, whereas the other ones are as well, but they're slip-on, so it's a little bit easier, especially once you've worn them in, to kind of just wear them around and slip them on and off more comfortably, whereas these ones are really, you gotta undo the laces. Kind of like remind me of Converse vibe, where Converse, it's like no matter how much you wear them in, you need to undo the laces, loosen it, and then retie it up just to get them on. Um, so I get a very similar vibe with these, which I personally, I just, I hate shoes that are so hard to get on. It's so annoying. It's like a pet peeve of mine. The breaking in process is not fun with these. Um, I would say like on par with breaking in Doc Martens. That's how uh, uncomfortable they are. But um, once you wear them in, they, they keep their structure. And I definitely would not wear these to walk around like New York City, for example, for long distances. They're not great walking shoes. Whereas the other ones, I, I've walked hours in them and they've held up like I didn't get blisters or anything. Whereas this one, I get blisters all the time. So just something to keep in mind as well if you are looking for a more comfortable loafer these ones maybe aren't the ones that you should be going for. But they definitely have a classic look as well, minus the chunkiness. I love the laces like going up here. I also love that they have the Prada logo um, on the lip of the shoe. I'm not too sure what this is called, but I really, I love it. I think it, it's also a very classic look, just with a little bit of edge and that is my style in a nutshell so i love it i love it so much if you guys have any other questions feel free to ask them in the comment section down below and i will be sure to get back to you as soon as i can thank you guys so much for watching if you found this video helpful please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me that would make my day i love you guys so much and i will see you soon with another new video bye